Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Hey, shalom, Mosan Quest Best. You are watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon. Also, Abner. Uh, today's class is the mystery of marriage. Uh, many people don't understand what marriage is. That's why you end up in certain camps and they're talking about multiple wives or anything like that. But let's see what the scripture has to say, right? Let's go to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So marriage is an honorable thing. Right? And whatever you do in your bedroom, that's up to you. That's you and your wife. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Whoremongers and adulterers, that God will judge. Give me Sirach 6 and 7. Because you're going to find out today there's a lot of people out there who's teaching. They're just whoremongers. They don't know nothing about marriage and they don't care for your soul. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 6, verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. The scripture said, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. So wish me what? In marriage, there's a proving process. It's not just I meet you today, wham, bam, and then, oh, you my wife. You wife number two. You wife number three. No, that's a whoremonger who's just using his pepping game to have multiple women. Multiple whores. Not, not even wives. Because you don't even have papers for her. Read. And be not hasty to credit him. So you're not hasty to credit somebody. You take your time to test the person to see what they're really about. And if you guys really can get along according to scripture, guess what? Then you take steps towards marriage, right? Give me Tobit 7. The book of Tobit chapter 7. We're going to uh, read verse 13. The book of Tobit chapter 7 verse 13. Then he called his daughter Sarah, and she came to her father. And he took her by the hand and gave her to be wife to Tobiah, saying, Behold, take her after the law of Moses, and lead her away to thy father, and he blessed them. So, this sister right here, and Tobit got married. So, it was done the proper way. He said, then he called his daughter Sarah, and she came to her father, and he took her by the hand and gave her to be wife to Tobias. So, the father was involved. You follow? There was a whole process, and then the woman was given unto that man. No creeping around, but the woman was given to that man, and that man took, it says, take her according to the law. So no backdoor marriage according to the law. And then take her to your house. And they were blessed. Read. And he called Edna his wife and took paper. And did, and did what? And he took Edna his wife and took paper and did write an instrument of covenants and sealed it. You see, many brothers say, oh, you see, all they did was they took their own paper. No, Negro. It's not taking a crayon box and talking about, oh, you are my wife. That's not admissible in court. These, these papers were sealed. And to show you have a whoremonger mind, you have papers for everything you own. Your house, your car, your driver's license. You got doc proper, uh, uh, ESO documentation for everything else. But when it comes to the woman, oh, you the law. No, you playing tricks with our sisters. And God will judge you for that because you don't understand the mysteries of marriage. Read that verse again. And called Edna his wife and took paper and did write an instrument of covenants and sealed it. And wrote what? An instrument of covenants and sealed it. So they made an instrument of covenant and sealed it because now that's your wife. 
God forbid something was to happen to you, guess what? Everything you have, gonna go to her and the kids. All right? Jump, uh, go to uh, chapter 8, start at verse 4. The book of Tobit, chapter 8, verse 4. And after that they were both shut in together, Tobias rose up uh, uh, of the bed and said, Sister, arise and let us pray that God would have pity on us. So Tobias doing the right thing. Pray with his wife so the most I can bless the union. Read. Then began Tobias to say, Bless art thou, O God, of our fathers, and blessed is thy holy and glorious name forever. Let the heavens bless thee and all thy creatures. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve, his wife for an helper, and stay. Of them came mankind. Thou hast said, It is not good that man should be alone. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. So God want us to be married. Okay, he did not create us to be alone. So he gave us the woman to be an, an help me, an aid unto us, right? Read. And now, O Lord, I take not this, my sister, for lust. You see that? That scripture is heavy right there. I take not my sister for lust. Now, was it you have a wife at home, and now you come to her with a whole bunch of other women talking about, oh, those are my, those are your, uh, my new wives. You ain't working, you ain't doing nothing. It's your own lust that's guiding you. The scripture said, do not take your sisters for, for lust. Stop whoring our sisters. It's contrary to scripture. Yes, there will be a day where we'll have multiple wives, but that's in the kingdom, not in this kingdom here. So if you have multiple hoes, you're whoring our sisters, and God is going to judge you for that. Read that again. And now, O Lord, I take not this my sister for lust, but uprightly. Therefore, mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. This is the reason why you get your wife. So that way you can have a companion for life. You're not having three hoes in three different cities. Once you argue with this one, you run to that one. Once you argue with that one, you run to this one. That means what? You was never a man. You never stay in one place to deal with matters. You're just hoeing out the sisters. And you expect the most out of blessing for that? No, you're going to be cursed. Because the script, read, in case you forgot what it says in Hebrew. Read that again. Go, go back to Hebrews chapter 13. Let's read that again. Verse 4. The book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. One wife, and we're going to show that. Give me Matthew 19. The book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 3. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? So, back then, for any little dudes will find anything wrong with you to get rid of you. Okay? That's wicked as hell. So, let's see what Christ has to say about that. Read. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? So, marriage was ordained from the beginning. Read. And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother. And shall cleave to his wife. Ha, shall cleave to his wife. His wife. Not wives. His wife. So said Christ. Read. And they twain shall be one flesh. No, therefore shall be one flesh. They twain. Twain means two. One, two. You and your wife will become one flesh. Not you and your wives or your whores. Read. Wherefore they are no more twain. But one flesh. What therefore God have joined together, let no man put asunder. We don't? They say unto him, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? So, pay attention. Why did Moses command to give a writing of divorcement? How would you have a writing for divorcement if there was never a marriage paper? You see, we, we did things according to the law. We didn't go and grab a woman and say, hey, you're my wife now. No, that's the wrong way to go about it. we got to do things according to scriptures. Read. He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. Read on. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. And whoso marrieth her which is put away, doth commit adultery. So we are not supposed to divorce our wives except if she commit adultery. So which means what? You better be a man and handle your stuff. 
Stop running around like a little boy hopping on every single woman talking about that's my wife. No, you're just a little boy. You don't want to. You don't want to get a job. You don't want to work. You don't want to provide. You just want to use our sisters to do what? To take care of you. Once you once you tied with this one, you run to this house. You tied to that one, you run to this house. You are whoring our sisters. Toby said, "Do not take. I do not take this year my sister for lust. So, show some love towards our sisters and get some real marriage papers and stop whoring them out. Because God is gonna judge you." Because you are a whoremonger. Give me um, verse 29. The book of Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife. Or, we, or what? Or wife. Is that V-E-S? Or wife. Wife. So every man that hath forsaken mother, father, brother, sister, or wife. One wife. Because in coming in this truth, sometimes your, the wife you had before you learned this truth might be an unbeliever. And she don't want to deal with this. So you have to let her go. So, wife. You're going to keep hearing it over and over. Wife, that's it. Singular, not plural. Finish that verse. Or children or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold. Give me 1 Corinthians 7, verse 1 and 2. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 1. Now concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me... It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. No, wives. Own wife. To avoid fornication, let every man has his own wife. One wife. Not multiple whores, but one wife. You're going to you're going to hear it over and over and over. So when you choose to have multiple wives, that means what? You an antichrist. You don't believe in Christ. Because what Christ said, doesn't the scripture say, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased? Hear ye him. Then the apostles wanted to make a tabernacles for uh, Elijah and Moses. God said, no, my son, hear ye him. So it says to avoid fornication, right? Let every man have one wife. And yes, you must have marriage paper for that wife. You're not going to be able to run away any, any which time you want to. Read that again. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let every woman have her own husband. You belong to her, she belongs to you. The two shall become one flesh. Give me Sirach 25, verse 1. We're going to drill it in your head, and it's going to be up to you to take it. The book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before God and men. The unity of brethren. Uh -huh. The love of neighbors. Yes. A man and a wife. That a no man and a who? And a wife. A man and a wife. A man and a wife. Not a man and his wives. A man and a wife that agrees together. Our sister's mind is not right and your mind ain't right. You ain't ready to have multiple wives. In the kingdom, we'll have a different spirit. Then we'll be able to deal with certain matters. But right now, we're going to do exactly what the scriptures say. Let every man have one wife. And guess what? We're going to have papers for that wife as well. According to the law of the land. So that way, God forbid we die. The, the little uh, chump change we have left behind, it could go to her. And the kids that you leave behind. Take care of your kids. That's what a man do. Not running around trying to back every single big booty Betty that walks in the congregation. You a whoremonger. And you haul in the sisters, and God is going to judge you. Bottom line, you're going to catch some venereal disease or other things going to happen to you, and you're going to live to regret the day that you're trying to have multiple wives by disobeying the laws of God. Read that again. The book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 1. Uh -huh. in, in three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before God and men, the unity of brethren, mm -hmm. the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. So give me Exodus 21 and 10. Because they're going to be like, no, 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 Exodus 21 and 10 say differently. All right, let's read it. The book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 10. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, her, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. So back, in, back then, we, was, we could have multiple wives, right? And what we, shouldn't, what we should be doing is if we had another wife, guess what? If your first wife had a house, second wife got to have a house. She had a nice carriage, second one got a nice carriage. Nice clothes for the first one, 
it's nice goes for the second one bottom line is you have to take care of both equally nowadays it's the woman that's taking care of those whoremongers you follow so you're not even keeping that law in its proper form because you don't have a job you don't have enough to take care of your your, your, your your wives but just in case you might be like oh well you know i'm rich i could do whatever i want give me matthew 17 and 5 because that's what was written in the old testament that moses gave us right matthew 17 and 5 the book of matthew chapter 17 verse 5 while he asked, I'll, st I'll start at four. Read four and five. The book of Matthew, chapter seventeen, verse four. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for th uh, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. Read. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the, the cloud which said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. The scripture said, this is my beloved son. Who's that? Christ. In whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Hear ye him. Let's see what Christ taught. Go back to 1 Corinthians. Actually, go to 1 Timothy. We're going to use the one in 1 Timothy. Chapter uh, 3, verse 2. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh huh. The husband of one wife, vigilant. No, oh, 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 you can't. You, you read that too fast. A husband of what? A husband of one wife. A husband of one wife. Read. Vigilant, sober. So they might be like, oh no, I don't want to be no bishop. Jump to verse twelve. Verse twelve. Let the deacons be the husband of one wife. Let the deacons be the husband of one wife. And the Sirachia tells you, as the judges, so are these officers. So our bishop set up the example, and everyone after us, after uh, that comes after, we're going to follow the same example, because what, what? He's following Christ. The scriptures say, this is my beloved son, hear ye him. So when it comes to marriage, it's one wife, it's proving stage, and you must get papers for that one wife. Anything contrary to that, you are a whoremonger, and the Lord will judge you. With that, we're going to say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.